If you're trying to register for a course and you're getting an error that states linked course required, it's a great possibility that you are not adding all of the components that are required to register for this course. Okay. If you're looking at your ORS form and you see that your advisor has approved you to take a science course that requires a lab, they may have included in the description that they recommend taking this course with the lab and discussion. Okay. If you're looking at the curriculum sheet, you can also see that our science courses that have AND L or AND L and D, which means that they also require a lab or they require a lab and a discussion. Now, how do you find these when searching for classes? It's very simple. You always want to enter um, the first three letters of the course in the subject. So we're going to search for chemistry today, CHM. And as you can see, I found that by looking at the three letters here on my ORS form or the three letters on the curriculum sheet here. OK. Then we want to type in the course number. And that's just the four numbers that come after those three letters there. OK, so 2045. And we click search. I don't fill in any of the other areas. This is going to pull up all of the sections of this course. And the first thing you want to look for is you want to look under the course title, General Chemistry 1. This is going to tell you if this section is a lecture or if you scroll down, you'll then see it says discussion. OK. You need to first choose a lecture. So there's four lectures available. OK, you want to look at the days and times and pick which one works with your schedule and then click add. OK, once you add that, you'll see it says a lecture is pending here. It's on your schedule and then you're going to want to scroll down and find a discussion that works with your schedule. So looking under the course title it says discussion we will scroll down until you see there may be full on the first page, but there's always more than one page. OK, go ahead and make it 50 per page so that it pulls up all the courses that are available. It may take a little while to load since there are a good amount of sections of this. OK, scroll down until you find a discussion that's open and works with your schedule. Click add there. So now you see that you have a lecture and discussion pending. And now we're going to have to add the lab. And if you scroll down, you're never going to find a lab listed under the discussions. You actually have to go back, search again, and put a capital L at the end of 2045 um, or a capital L at the end of whatever the course number is that you're searching for. OK, once you do that and click search, it's going to pull up all the lab sections. Like I said, it may take a little while to load since there's a lot of sections available. Still loading here. Okay. And as you can see, it says laboratory under the course title. So that means we're looking at the right sections. Again, scroll down. A lot of the first sections are going to be full since these are the first ones that students see. But when you get down towards the bottom, you'll see there's some more open ones that could work with your schedule. OK, you add that and then you'll see that you now have on your schedule a pending lecture lab and discussion. OK. And you're going to want to click the green button. Yours is going to say submit here to register. If they register successfully, this yellow pending will turn into a green registered. And that means you have successfully registered for a lecture, lab, and discussion.